Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a random data sample in Excel 2013. First, let's take a look at some data. Quite often we want to take a sample from a population and in my example here I have a population of 100 test scores. I've got them in five columns so that we can see them all. Normally you probably have these in one column. And I'd like to be able to uh, take a 10% sample from this. So I want to extract 10 values at random from the 100 that you see here. Randomly selecting members of a sample is important as it helps prevent bias in your results. Um, this allows an impersonal choice to choose the sample and if you don't do this, a sample could favour selection of certain groups, for example here, uh, higher or lower marks, possibly without you even realising this. So, but in the real world, this is very, very difficult to do. Excel can help us uh, with drawing a random sample from a population here. So what I want to do here is I want to randomly select 10 scores from my population of 100 scores. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the option to do this is not uh, available by default in Excel, so the first thing we need to do is to turn this option on. So check on the file ribbon across the top, left hand corner, scroll down to the options uh, uh, button here on the left, and this brings up an Excel options um, window, and the item that we're looking for here is add-ins down towards the end, so just select that. And you will probably see a different view than the one that you see here, depending on the add-ins that you have installed on your computer. But just go down to the very, very end, the manage Excel add-ins, and click on the go button. And when you do, you'll see an add-ins list similar to the one I have here. And it's uh, you should see at the very top the analysis tool pack, and this is the one that contains the option for random sampling. So just check that. If it's checked already, leave it checked and click on the OK button. So now when I go back to my Excel ribbons and choose the data ribbon, this is the middle one across the top here, I will see over on the right hand side of that a data analysis option. It is, this has a variety of tools for financial and scientific data analysis. So I'm going to click on that, on that button there. And this brings up the data analysis tools. And if you scroll up and down it, you will see things like ANOVA and variance and histograms and so on. The one we're looking for is sampling, which is down near the end of the list. So select sampling and click on OK. And this brings up our sampling window. And we now need to tell Excel where our data are and how many uh, number of samples do we want to extract. So this is quite simple. So click in the input range box here at the top. The cursor should be flashing and select all the data that are here. So I'm selecting all 100 values. I'm not selecting any labels because I've got a merged label here at the top. So I'm going to leave the labels box unchecked in this example. Uh, I'm going to select at random and tell Excel that I want in the number of samples box that I want to select 10 samples at random from this list. I also want the output range to appear in column G, so I'm going to select the output range radio button here. Click on the box beside it here, it's important that you do that, and I'm going to then click on cell G2 uh, to tell Excel that I want my random sample to be listed in column G, and click on OK. And you can see it has pulled out 10 values at random from the population of 100 scores. If you look carefully at any of these, you will find them listed on the left-hand side. So just to illustrate that this is completely random, I'm going to do this again for a second sample. So once again, select the data ribbon, choose data analysis. Sampling will already be selected, so click on OK. If you haven't selected any other data in the meantime, the input range will still be selected as it is here. Um, the number of samples, I'm going to go for 10 again. And this time, the only thing I'm going to change is the output range. I'm going to change it from G2 to H2 and select OK. And we can see we have another set of random numbers generated here, which will be different from the previous sample. You can choose the, um, any number of random values from the list of, of 100 scores that are here. And you can be assured that they have been selected completely at random without any bias uh, from your population of 100 scores. So that's how you draw a random sample da of data from a population. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.